Thank you for a kind introduction and uh, thank the organizer for giving us the opportunity to talk about our study and on behalf of my uh, collaborators in Taiwan. And so far this, today we have not talked about people kind of study from the Asia, so enjoy the, my uh, perspective about the Chinese and diabetes. My uh, disclosure and not to disclose for the commercial support and uh, we got the grant from the Open Board of California to consider the study. And however, the Open Board of California uh, was not involved in the study design and conduct and uh, data analysis or interpretation. So I want to talk about two studies. Uh, the first study uh, we, we conducted in about six years ago uh, in, in Taiwan. And it's a pilot study, small scale, and it's a uh, uh, crossover design study, uh, about 12 weeks. Uh, it's a control feeding, luminized uh, crossover, and uh, including the two week run in, uh, two week run out, and the four week of intervention. And the diet is the NCEP diet, is the control diet, and uh, replace the 20% uh, energy for almonds. And uh, uh, we have 20 subjects, uh, nine male, 11 females and they're about 58 years old, and uh, a year of the diabetic duration, and they don't use uh, some kind of the uh, hyper hyperglycemia medication, but they don't use any of the insulin uh, to control their blood glucose. So the result from this trial, uh, we see the, the blood glucose, uh, it's decreased about uh, seven milligram per deciliter, about 40.5% reduction, it's computer control, the slight decrease, but not significant. And the incident, we also see the reduction, uh, about 8.1%, which is about one uh, micro unit per, per liter. And the control diet also de decreased a little bit. And so the, the difference between the control and the open diet is about uh, not so uh, big as the uh, blood glucose. So after we did uh, the first, first study, uh, we are thinking about, uh, we need to do the one more study to uh, confirm the results we uh, attended from this study, uh, especially one thing about this uh, homoglobin A1C, uh, which is the home mark marker for the uh, glucose control. So the hypothesis for the study is, uh, when compared to kind of possible, possible and step, step to diet, the consumption of three grams of almonds per day uh, for three months will improve measures of the glucose regulation and the CBD risk factor. Our primary uh, outcome is the hemoglobin A1C, and secondary is uh, some other the, uh, blood glucose incident and the prosperandial glucose uh, tolerance. Uh, design is very similar to the first study. Uh, however, uh, the intervention the 12 weeks, and then in the run in and wash out, uh, subjects also come from the diets we have provided to them. Uh, it's not so different from our first trial. And then we collect the, the blood urine uh, before and, and after the intervention phases. This is a diet, uh, this is a SEP2 diet, diet uh, this control. And the almond diet, we replace the 20% energy uh, from the control diet. The kind of diet is, to, is given to the control their body weight, so the body weight is maintained due to study for the all subjects. And then we create some of the recipes to incorporate the almond to the diet, especially we make some of the uh, steam bun and pizza and some kind of uh, the, maybe the noodle to, so we can incorporate the, this the almond into the, their, the meals. So we give the, the almonds into the breakfast and also the, in the, either lunch, uh, dinner, or as a snack. So this is the nutrient composition for the two, two diets. Uh, the main thing here is, it's about uh, MUFA. Uh, the control diet is about 12, 13 grams. Uh, it's increased to the 31 grams. And the uh, dietary fibers increased from 16 to 22. And the uh, magnesium uh, increased a lot from 200 to 340. Vitamin E is about 7 to about 20 milligrams per day. 
and then the, the calories and protein are maintained uh, between the two diets. Uh, we we re uh, reviewed the med medical records from the, uh, about 10,000 people. Uh, they are patients in the two hospitals in Taipei City. And uh, we find out the, about 700, 730 patients are qualified for our study, and only 40 people are, are willing to um, participate in our trial. And the end of the, the study, uh, seven drop out uh, because of personal reasons. So total, we have studied three subjects. So this is the demographics and the baseline bra biochemistry for the, the subjects. They are about 56 years old and diabetic uh, history is about five years. And then they all use uh, some kind of the hypoglycemia medication and eight people use the, the statin uh, and uh, two people use uh, some medication to control the triglyceride and eight people use the blood uh, hypertension medication. Nobody used the insulin. And the BMI is about 25.5. And I ought to point out to you that uh, this, the 20.5, is overweight in, in the Chinese. Uh, the overweight, the range, uh, the BMI range for overweight is from the 24 to the 26.9. So a little different from the Westerners. And a little bit of hypertension. Uh, and fasting blood glucose about 140. It's a little lower than what we saw in the first study, which is about 155. And the insulin, the fasting insulin, uh, is also lower. It's about 11. The first study about 15. And hemoglobin one is about 7.5. And especially, I'm pointing out to you is about the, the cholesterol lipid profile. In the first study, uh, everybody has the uh, increased the, the uh, cholesterol. Um, the average for the, the, sub, the subject is about uh, 230 for the total, total cholesterol and the 130 for the LDL cholesterol. But in this the study, we cannot recruit anybody with this uh, hypercholesterolemia because the, our government in the Taiwan changed the policy, a, especially for the people with the in risk for the cardiovascular disease, must control the blood cholesterol. So everybody must take some cholesterol uh, medication if they has a high cholesterol level. Let me show you the results for hemoglobin one c So when you look at the all three two subjects, we did not see any uh, effect on the hormone intervention. And so we did uh, some of the subsets data analysis. Uh, we look at the uh, hemoglobin one c smaller than 8%, uh, 27 subjects uh, under this uh, category. So we see the about uh, about uh, from the uh, 7.3 uh, to the 7.1, uh, the hemoglobin C about 0.3% uh, uh, reduction. So the percentage is about 3% reduction. So when we look at uh, the, the subject with the hemoglobin C between the 7 and 8, uh, it's not significant. Uh, there's a tendency there that the omen feeding can decrease the uh, hemoglobin C. For the people with the Hemoglobin in one is larger than eight percent. It's about six people. Uh, the omens has a neutral effect on the this hemoglobin one C. And then for the people with the better the uh, glucose control, there's a twelve subject. Uh, omen seems not have really uh, significant effect. Similarly, uh, we saw the similar effect on the fasting blood glucose, and you can see that the, there's no effects from all thirty-three subjects. But when we did the subject analysis, and we can see the about 60% reduction uh, between the uh, control and the uh, hormone intervention. And uh, then look at the uh, subject with the hemoglobin A1C between the seven and eight, and we can see the about 7% reduction in the uh, fasting blood glucose. We also did the, the, the glucose tolerance test, uh, and uh, we did not see any effect uh, the, when the subject uh, consumes a standard breakfast, uh, and then we do not see any, any effect on this. The conclusion from my, my presentation, uh, omens are beneficial in glucose man management in Chinese patients with type 2 diabetes, uh, particularly in those who have a hemoglobin in one seed uh, smaller than 8%. And uh, uh, when for the people with the uh, hemoglobin in larger than 8%, and there's the neutral effect. And uh, 
uh, when omen to be more effective to improve the insulin sensitivity in liver but not sick muscle, since we see the effect on the fasting uh, blood glucose, but not the prosperity uh, glucose tolerance. So kind of question mark here, if omen is better to control uh, liver, uh, the, the insulin sensitivity in the liver, but in the skeletal muscle. That's kind of my own question about it. Thank you for your attention.